crafty friends so I'm back here to make the hinges for the album and I have done videos before of showing how I do the mini albums and well all the process but um like there's some people that um actually tell the measurements of how they make um how they make the the hinges but um, I don't measure or anything I just like eyeball everything so I have recently bought this because um, because when I follow tutorials on YouTube they they tell the measurements and, and everything and the other one that I had of Martha Stewart um, it didn't it just had like 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 12. So now I bought this recently. So I was I was saying um the first one is at half inch and then I'm gonna go at one inch and then I'm gonna go one and a half and then two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half and so on and I'm gonna go oops um, oh I'm gonna do the whole page just in case that's what I do and if I have extra then I'll just cut it and throw it away so that's my I just have created the hinges for my album so this is how it looks and now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to measure here so I can cut it and here I just eyeball, you know, I just eyeball everything, but first I'm going to fold it. So what I do here is I fold it into like a fan, like this, this is what I do. So it's like that, and all you do is just pick up like the second line and fold it. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see. <laughs> like this. This is what you do. So this is straight. And then you fold it. And it should be like this. And the other one, you do the same thing for the other one. So the other one. We're going to grab it. Like this. And then we fold it. And I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this binding. So as you can see, since I don't have uh, much, a lot of paper left from that paper pad, I'm gonna leave it like this. So I'm just gonna cut here the extra part. So I want to eyeball this and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna cut it up to there. So now I brush my trimmer and then I cut it so I just cut that piece and I'm gonna cut the last piece right here also so like that so I cut it and now I'm gonna put the back I'm gonna put tape right here and I'm gonna use this tape I'm gonna use this tape like I said I in my previous albums I have used this this but now I'm using this one because I think it sticks better but you can use whatever glue you wish to use 
so we're gonna I'm just gonna go uh, right here on the sides on the edges and then in the middle already and I'm also gonna use a little bit of this fabric tack glue um, here so I'm just gonna put a little bit where I did not put the red tape so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to stick it on the paper like this so right now I'm just gonna eyeball where I want it to be and I want it there so I just stick it there and then put pressure so the tape can stick over it again with my bone a little bone here and like that so there you go that's how I do the hinges for the album how it looks and usually I do more like I start from here and I stop here and I don't care how many um, hinges this, this has you know I just go as the length of the I forgot what is this call but yeah but since now since right now I don't have a lot of paper left I'm just gonna stick with five Hinges right here, so five pages. Yeah, that's the album. And now I'm gonna show you how I um, put the pages. This is what I do. Um, I just like here again, and then just cut the extra, and then I go like this, and and. I'm, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit more because it's gonna show here so for now I only worry about the, the height so I'm gonna cut it going right there so since I have five pages I'm gonna cut um, ten papers okay so I have already cut my papers and first what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna see like and what pages I want um, what right now for the first page um, I want it to be I want to be the first page like to be able to fold this way like this and then open like this so what I'm gonna do is first I stick my page there are people that do it differently and I do it like this this is how I started and yeah so I'm just going to put adhesive here, I'm going to put that there, like this. Oh, and right now I don't worry about um, how long it is, because I'm going to, once I finish with the album, I cut it. Well, right now the first one, uh, you're going to see that I'm going to cut it to the height that I need it. So here, I 
show all the adhesive and then I put a little bit of ATG here and this and and then what I do is that I just um put it This is how I have put my first page. And you see right here, this is gonna come, it's showing. And we don't, I don't want that because I'm gonna, I wanna hold it. So I'm gonna have to cut the paper the height I'm gonna cut it up to here or right here so I'm gonna cut that I'm gonna make a little line right there so now I do I grab my paper cutter and I just put it in there find the mark that I did and then I just cut it and now okay that is fine you cannot see it and I am able to grab the bag Okay, so now I'm gonna do my page, and what I do is I want to leave a little bit space here, so I do this, and then again I just cut it, that's the other one. I mark it with my pencil and then then like I put it together like this, okay, like that. And then I'm just gonna draw a line where I'm gonna do the crease or matter of fact I can just make the crease right there oops there it is and I just fold it this and then put it back in there again so that's gonna stay there and this is how it's gonna open so now I'm gonna put tape right here I line it up I have my first page like that and then the back of it like this I don't um, I don't want to do anything special on the, uh, in the back so yeah I'm just gonna put tape on the corners okay so I have put tape on the back of my paper and I'm gonna stick it here and as you can see here in the middle I put ATG tape so I can still have a little bit of movement when trying to put my paper. Once I have it the way I want it, I can just put pressure here so it can stick like this. So that's 
good now. And I just put a little bit of ATG here. Like that. So now I'm gonna remove the adhesive. So I just remove them. The other one, the other one, and the other one. And again, I put pressure so I can stick it. And there you go. Like this. And then for the second page, um, I don't want to make this a really long video. From this point on, I'm going to fast forward so the video is not that long. But you guys already can see how I did my first page like this so yeah um gonna do a waterfall or a little mini album that when you open it it pulls out everything so yeah that's the the pages and so for um putting the the decorative paper i'm gonna also fast forward because um up to this point you could decorate it however you want, whatever paper you want to use. And I show you guys what paper I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this one, the Get Glam from um, Red Collection. And guess what? I ended up buying another one so I can finish the album completely with the pages I want. And I have doubles now because it's a brand new one so yeah so, um, from this point on i'm just gonna fast forward everything of how i'm going to decorate this and then we'll come back and do the outside of the album so yeah thank you guys for watching 